Oh, boy. What? We've got a report to get to. Whoa. Headline at Pro Football Talk. Story just went up within the last five minutes. Headline reads, Bill Belichick has shopped Mac Jones this offseason. <laughs> Reading from Mike Florio at Pro Football Talk. No, things aren't going well between Patriots coach Bill Belichick and quarterback Mac Jones. Following the posting of the item regarding the lingering tension between coach Bill Belichick and the 2021 first rounder, more information has trickled in. Per a source with knowledge of the situation, Belichick has shopped Jones to multiple teams during the 2023 offseason. The full list of potential destinations isn't known. The teams mentioned as potential destinations were the Raiders, Texans, Buccaneers, and Commanders. Florio writes, obviously a trade hasn't occurred yet. That doesn't mean it won't happen. A team hoping to draft a quarterback could pivot to Jones if that team doesn't get the guy it wants. The Raiders are the ones to keep watching, writes Florio. Jimmy Garoppolo's contract lands in the low end of middle class for starters, and Jones has two years left under a slotted rookie deal before his fifth-year option would apply. Complicating the situation is the fact that owner Robert Kraft seems to be a big fan of Mac Jones. Wow. Florio says Bill is shopping Mac Jones. It's the first I've heard of anything like this. Oh, Bill didn't call you and tell you? No. no. <laughs> Stop. That's, you should have the breaking news for that one, man. Wow. Well, it's not actual Great. news. Facts, Nothing yeah. concrete has right. happened. Mike's, wow. But that is a whopper of a report. Sorry, I'm just trying to digest this one. Again, you said Commanders, Buccaneers, Raiders. And uh, Texans. Texans. They're not thrilled with Davis Mills there. <laughs> Um, he's got a relationship with Jason Light. He's got a relationship, obviously, with um, with Josh and uh, and the Raiders. I'm trying to think who he knows the Commanders, mm. Texans. That's obvious. Nick Casario, FOBs, friends of Bill. Wow, wow. What's that? Wow. When this gets out like this, quarterback and, from Florida and, available at 14 and max <laughs> agent. Oh boy. And starts digging and talking to teams and mm. trying to figure out if this is true. Max agent discovers that it is. Are we not at the point of no return already? Especially after the Monday night debacle. Um, again, the season ending press conference. We won't even refer to him as by name. And then he was asked again at the owner's meetings. Well, every everybody's gonna get a chance to play. Man. And how do you come back from that? How does he come I don't, back? I don't know. The- I said this after the Monday night thing. I don't know how he came back after the Monday night thing. Can I give you something else? Devin if, McCourty if said Bill, it's a split locker room. If, I mean if Bill I, knows, if Bill knows that the owner is absolutely in love with Mac and oh wants him to God, be the team's here, quarterback. Here we go. Well, someone's got to pee in the pool to ruin the party here. Let it be known that we've been shopping him. Put it out there, somebody. Somebody call Florio and put this out there because then I know Mac won't want to be here next year and we'll have a chance to blow this thing up. Follow Jim McBride today. Wow. I said it after the Monday night game. I don't know how you come back from that. In front of your home crowd. Man, you know, Florio is uh, Florio's talked about this a couple of times in the offseason. You know, you go back to January with the he was trying to put it out there that they didn't like uh, that. He, he was h- hypothesizing that the team and Bill specifically didn't like the block on Eli Apple and that, you know, it just was indicative of a guy he didn't want on the team. And then he wrote another story um, talking about a hypothetical trades. That one was back in the middle of February. And that was one where, again, he mentioned the Raiders. Well, the rumblings so, of him, meaning Mac, looking outside to help him with the, uh, looking outside the building to help 
with the situation in the offense. That's the one that'll burn burn a bridge down. Brian if Hoyer lost his job. He got kicked out of the building. Eliminate, Is Mac Jones eliminated one already? Him. It's it's got a lot of layers. Is it Bill reasserting his power? Reasserting to the roster that I'm in charge here. We're not going to get away last questioning dance. what we do. Oh, man. This is how it goes here. This is a whopper. And as this long as I'm here, whopper. it's going to continue to go this way. And also, how much blame does Belichick get if this is what he's now doing? Two years into Mac Jones's career, he's trying to sell him out there, and he's selling low. That's poor asset management by the team, by him, if this is where this is now going. So, again... Within the last 10 minutes, Mike Florio, Pro Football Talk, has a post. Bill Belichick has shopped Mac Jones this offseason. And that the full list of potential destinations isn't known. The teams that were mentioned by the source as potential destinations were the Raiders, Texans, Buccaneers, and Commanders. So there's a potential that we could sign Garoppolo with what Josh signed it to, to trade him to here. Then you could ship Mac there. Well, let's pick this up on the oh. other side. What does that mean that they're lo- that they're looking at at quarterback for this coming season? If they're looking to shop and move on for Mac Jones.